<laughs> Why do I have to play this game? Hey, bro, people, this is Sonic 732, and welcome to the beginning of the Halloween Fest, sort of 2016. I was about to say 2017. But yeah, either way, though, kicking off Halloween this year, we're going to be playing a very, very scary mediocre game titled Mighty Number no. 9. So, if you guys don't know the story about my number nine, let me um, let me inform you about my number nine and just how this game came to be. So, there's a man. His name is KG Inafune. He is the creator of Mega Man, or let, let me put massive air quotes around creator of Mega Man. So he's been with Capcom for since the 80s, I think. You know, he helped design Mega Man, and for the most part, he's been, I believe, a creative director of almost every single Mega Man game up until I believe 2011 or 2010 when Capcom let him go. So when Capcom let him go, four Mega Man games got canceled. There was Mega Man Legends 3, which is the one game everyone's butthurt over. Mega Man Online, which looked like a pretty eh, decent game. Um, there was a, um, a reboot of Mega Man X titled Maverick Hunter, which is pretty much a first person Mega Man game, which I'm not gonna lie, looked pretty cool. And then there was Another Mega Man game, which I forgot what the game was exactly called. But yeah, so all four of these games got canceled. So KG the Fleet was like, you know what? If Capcom is going to make a Mega Man game, then I'm going to make one. And he decided to go to Kickstarter. And he had this really, really humble Kickstarter campaign to start the game off. And yeah, you know, everyone fell for it. He, um, original goal was 900000 It made $4 million. A lot of shady shit happened. And we got the game. And it's very... Horrifically mediocre. So, this game stars Beck, the not Mega Man of this game. And pretty much Dr. White, not Dr. Light, um, creates all these robots. And then apparently most of them go berserk. And now Beck has to stop all of them. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all this game is. So, the reason why I'm talking over all the cutscenes right now. And yeah, they're, they are talking. This game is fully voice acted. But the reason why I'm talking over these cutscenes, which normally I don't do, is because... You guys don't want to hear the voice acting in this game. It's very, very bad. So yeah, in this game, you could run left to right. You could jump. You have your mega, uh, your not mega buster, your pea shooter, and yeah, you pretty much just platform over basically everything. You could destroy crates by shooting them. Yeah, it's basically Mega Man, except for one tiny little change, which we'll be getting into very, very soon. And oh, oh, look at all this. Oh my gosh, the graphics. Four million dollars, people. Yeah, so you guys might be asking, why am I getting to this game so late? The game came out in June, why am I complaining about it now? Well, I had other games to play. So yeah, so I'm going to be talking over every cutscene because like I said, you guys don't want to hear the voice acting. It's horrifically average. This game, this game is just, it's just horrifically mediocre. That's the best thing I can say about it. There really is nothing good. There's not, I mean, there, there, there are some good things about this game. But every good thing is counteracted by a bad thing, so it kind of just evens itself out. But this game isn't even at the level of average of, say, like, um, what's a really, really average game that, like, I've played recently? Um, I can't even think of an average game. But, like, it isn't, like, the average game that, you know, you'll find at least some enjoyment of playing out of this. I remember the first time I played this game, when this game came out, I put this game down so many times just because I was getting so aggravated of all the shit that was happening. And like, I literally, I almost rage quit this game. I almost rage quit this game. This final boss is so stupid. And oh, hi Avi. Oh. Hey, yeah, this this guy, I guess it's weird though because like this isn't really a spoiler. Because at this point, who wants to be spoiled for a game like this? But Avi's kind of like the one not robot master that always appears like throughout the entire game. So it's almost like Inafune wanted everyone to like Avi, but no one like no one I know likes Avi. It's he's kind of just really annoying. And oh, speaking of annoying, we haven't even got to the annoying part left yet. And oh, a robot. Uh oh. What do you mean? Uh oh. Out of control, you say, Doctor White? Yeah, because I'm saying perfectly still is out of control. That's oh my god, Doctor White, and oh my god, Inafune, you can't even program a robot going berserk like running around losing its shit. So yeah, so here gets the next mechanic. When you shoot an enemy, you technically can't kill it, or you could kill it, but you have to dash into it to kill it. If you just spend all your time shooting at the enemies, it takes forever. And oh, look at the, the oh my gosh, the fire graphics. Yeah, you've seen all it means for that. But yeah, look, if I try shooting it normally, look how long it took to die. 
In Mega Man, only the really big enemies took that long to die. In this game, every enemy takes that long to die. And if it's the bigger enemies, oh my god, you're gonna be spending like a minute just shooting at those things. But yeah, so that, that's pre this is pretty much the main mechanic to differentiate it, differentiate it from all the other Mega Man games. So instead of just, just normally, you know, running into the owl, normally running into the enemy, you have to weaken it and then you have to dash into it, a la Mega Man X. So with certain enemies, if you dash into them, a low power will appear right on top of you. That power up will just give Beck, you know, a basic, like, you know, um, added mobility, um, uh, his shots do more damage, other stuff happens, I don't, you know, you, you should not even care what those things do. Really, they, they don't, they don't add anything to the game. Like, I get it that, you know, Inafune wanted to differentiate this game from Mega Man, but when this game was being marketed on Kickstarter, it was being marketed as a Mega Man game. Like, people will say, oh, but it was the spiritual success of the Mega Man. No, it, it was Mega Man. That demo that came out maybe like two days before that Kickstarter ended, which by the way, that was really, really shady by the way. That was, that was Mega Man. No one could tell you otherwise. That was essentially what I, what me and a millions of other people played back in the days. That was Mega Man. You know, I didn't see any, you know, dashing ability. I didn't see any power-ups. I saw Beck. I saw him shooting enemies that died in like three shots. Yeah, and yeah, also there's a combo system, which, you know, should not really be in this game because there really serves no point to it. But yeah, that was Mega Man. I mean, I don't mind the the, the, the accelerating thing because, like, you know, over, over time as you play this game, it kind of becomes like a second nature. Like, you know, you learn to, like, you know, dash every time an enemy starts blinking. But, like, what, first time I played this game, I kind of had the instinct of Mega Man where, you know, if I shoot an enemy enough times, they should die. But yeah, um, we're almost done with the intro stage because, yeah, every Mega Man game kind of needs intro stage. And by the way, I could talk about how Mega Man intro stages aren't necessarily the best. I mean, I don't mind intro stages in the Mega Man game or any game in general, but, you know, tell me everything, but tell me nothing. That's how I, I mean, uh, okay, I kind of put that in the wrong way. I mean, like, an, a good intro stage should tell you the basics of the game, but also it should teach, it should, like, um, let you learn things naturally. The, this intro stage with Mega Man, uh, with, I was going to say Mega Man, with my number nine, it tells you everything, but it literally tells you nothing. Like, it tells you what to do, but it doesn't It doesn't effectively tell you what to do it. Because, trust me, they're going to be giving you a lot more BS tutorials throughout this entire game. And holy crap, am I going to be raging throughout most of them. And hey, it's our first mini-boss, Round Digger! Yeah, th just don't don't care about those stats they give you because they essentially mean nothing. So yeah, you know, bosses work the same way as enemies. You know, you shoot them enough times, you weaken them, dash right into them. I mean, this boss isn't really that bad as an intro boss, but, you know, I've seen better... Freaking, um, I'm going to be comparing this a lot to, um, uh, Mega Man X because, personally, Mega Man X, Mega Man X is basically what my number 9 set to be. Uh, a successor to Mega Man that expanded the original formula and was, overall, a lot better game. You know, my number 9 tried to do what Mega Man X did, but did it a million times more worse. And, yeah, you know, the boss is dead. Really, really simple boss. I should have probably been playing on a higher difficulty, but, eh, whatever. Um, I kind of just want to get this game over with. And oh joy, I got an A! Yeah! Okay. And oh, you guys are about to see the game's really incredible cutscenes! Just, just look at them! Just, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna shove. You guys deserve to see this cutscene. Okay, you know what? I can't even shut up because I, I gotta complain about these cutscenes. Now, at this point, I'm gonna be sound like a broken record for this game because... I'm gonna, I will pr I will give the game praise whenever I can, but most of this commentary is going to be me bitching about this game because we deserve something better than this. Like, we did, we were not promised this game. So, as you see right now, this is how you not do cutscenes. Because you have 3D models that look like utter ass, and they this the team could not even program their mouths to move whenever they speak. It's, they're, just, they're just like cardboard cutouts. Hell, cardboard cutouts would have probably even expressed more than this. Like, honestly, the best way how these cutscenes should have been handled, and I'm, I'm going to be quoting Some Call Me Johnny right now because, honestly, he pretty much nailed it, like, how the cutscenes should have been made, is, like, they should have just been static 2D images or const or um, static 2D art of each character, and then their expressions would change with whatever the dialogue accounts for. So if Beck is surprised, he would look like that, except, you know, in a 2D well-made um, sprite because I'm not sure if you guys have seen the concept art for this but the 2d art for my number nine looks phenomenal it, it looks beautiful 
it looks like what we should have gotten from this game. Hell, even the concept art looked even better than that. I mean, yeah, people have people would argue that that's not what we were promised. That was just concept art. But even then, we were shown that. <laughs> in a Fune, you should have been specific. Like, a lot of this could be blamed, pinned on in the Fune. Because, to be fair, this guy was not... Tri he was not transparent at all when this kick, when uh, my number nine's Kickstarter began, and it was definitely shown with that Red Ash project, which I don't even know what's gonna happen with Rash at this point. Oh, we unlocked everything. Okay, yeah, you don't even worry about that. Well, yeah, back to Rash. Oh yeah, but before I talk about Red Ash, let me see. So yeah, so these are all the things we could do right now. So pretty much, it's a magma game at this point. So you have my numbers one through eight. You could choose who who you go who you go up against first. Obviously, they're gonna be the star my um, my numbers that you go up against first. The re their their weapons are you know. It's like, you know, like a weapon triangle. Like, their weapons are weak to each other, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, so normally, I like to start with the Waterworks Bureau, which is my number two. Cryogen, Cryogen, I, I forgot his name. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be ranting about these my number names a lot later, but yeah. So, you know, in the end, Inafune is, is to blame on this, but then again, a lot of us should have, should have, should have like, you know, seen his lies as early as that first Kickstarter, because... We really were not shown anything. We were shown the first demo of this game literally like two days before the Kickstarter ended. So we, I mean, then again, Inafune should have just shown that as soon as the Kickstarter began. And let, let me show you how really easy to break this game. So down there, there's a stage. But because you could use a dash, but, um, dash button as many times as you want, you could literally dash over the entire stage. Game design! Or, you know, level design! And game design too because this was intentional. But yeah, you know, we just, we pretty much just dashed right over the entire chunk of the stage. You know, I, I'm not sure if that, that was intended because, you know, to be fair, if it wasn't intended to spam the dash button, it wouldn't be in the game. But, you know, it's in the game, so I'll, I, I'll abuse it whenever I can because abusing it's fun. Okay, be really, really careful. Do not do what I just did back there. Ooh. And, ah, crap. Let me get that life. There we go. Yeah, also, try to keep as many lives as you can because losing lives is really, really easy in this game. And nice. Took a big shortcut. And time to break the game again. Breaking games is fun. Okay, that was close. Okay, but yeah, you know, that's pretty much all she wrote for the stage. It's, oh my god, the frame rate. Okay, let me also talk about the frame rate. It's, it's poop. It is very poop. I mean, on PS4, it isn't so bad. But if you got it on Wii U, holy crap, you were probably in for a really fun time playing this game. Because, yeah, also let me tell you about the, the consoles for, um, the console this game is, uh, is for, if you guys are interested in getting this game. So, right now, for the consoles it's out on, it's on PC, Wii U, um, PS4, Xbox One, um, and I think PS3. And that's pretty much it. There was an Xbox 360 version, a 3DS version. A PS Vita version, a Mac version, a Linux version plan, but as of now, they still are not out. And the 360 version was delayed the day, uh, the, day the game was released. That's, um, that's no bueno. And yeah, this is an obvious not Pong homage boss fight, which is pathetically easy, and I don't even know how I got hit back there because I did not deserve to get hit. Okay, that time was my fault. Okay, booyah. So yeah, you know, just keep doing that. Just, um, mean oh crap, I did not mean to do that. Come on, come on, almost dead. Booyah. Is down. Now we just gotta do, deal with this one, last one. And yeah, it does get faster. And there we go. Yeah. Oh, let's keep on going. Yeah, most of these stages do have, um, like, you know, uh, like side boss fights. But they are oh, crap. Dang it, dang it, dang it. What the? Okay, that took forever. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we can't, we can't grab onto this ice, which is so dumb. Because the game doesn't really tell you that. And, you know, we should have the right to grab onto the... Ah, dang it! Stop it! Okay, hold on. Wait. I gotta get that health. I need to get the... Oh, wait. Dang it, crap. That wasn't even health. That was a life. Okay, also be really, really careful. Because, like I said, you can't grab onto the ice. So these ledges, you can't grab on them if you fall off. Which is so freaking stupid. Because I, I cannot tell you how many times... No! Oh, well, you know, we're not dead yet. Which is, is good. Crap, we gotta go back, I think. Ah oh, man, I really, really hate how some of this game was programmed. It's so stupid how you could die. Okay, crap. I actually really got to play it smart. And, oh, hey, Cryo, what's up? Crap, no! Dang it, dang it. 
crap, playing this smart, playing this really, really safe, i.e. like a pussy. No! Dang it! We got close, though. We got close. We took out one. So, I mean, the night, the last checkpoint we got was, I believe it was right before, no, it wasn't right before that. It was right before we got the right, oh, it was right, it was right before that. Okay, you know what? I really am not complaining. By the way, let me talk about Cryo. He, she, I, I don't even know what the hell, what gender Cryo is supposed to be. It's annoying. That's the best way I could put Cryo. Just wait until we get to the boss fight because pew pew pew. Uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm, looking, I'm not looking forward to this boss fight. Crap, crap! What, what the fuck is happening? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh really? I I I dashed in that right before. Oh whatever. Whatever. It's done. Quick queer. Qu yeah, quick queer. Yeah, I I deserve that. Oh oh. Crap! Yeah, you can't grab on these things. You see what I mean? Normally, Beck will be able to grab on that, but he can't do it, which sucks. Okay, I gotta be really careful because that thing's gonna shoot at me. Okay. Oh. Ow. I gotta be really, really careful right now. No, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? You can't grab on to that. It's so stupid. I really hate how this game is programmed. It's own physics do not, do not like, you know, obey the... Oh, whatever. Uh, at this point, I mean, we're not that far. We have two... Yeah, technically two lives left, so... And, you know, if the game does not want to dick me over, I could probably get this um, done, like, really, really soon. Like I said, if this game does not want to dick me over. Like, right there! I pressed the... Oh, my God! I seriously hate this! Oh, my God! Ah, uh, yeah, so many annoying moments. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of people will be saying, "But Chris, why are you complaining?" Because Mega Man had a lot of BS moments. But you see, not BS moments like that. At least that game's logic, you know, was sensible. In this game, you can't grab onto every ledge, which is so stupid. Because the game tells you you could grab onto most ledges. Oh my God! Okay, I gotta play it safe now. I really have to play it safe. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I really hate that. I oh my god! I should have just. I really should should have dashed forward. Yeah, game over. Ah, yeah, yeah. I really hate this. I really hate this. Now we gotta go through the entire stage over again. So you know, I'll see you guys when we get back to the part. So yeah, uh, cut, joy. What? Wait, 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 wait! Did you guys just see that? I got what? Um. All right. All right, we're back here. I almost just died back there, but I'm not going to show you guys what just happened because that would have been really embarrassing if I really did die. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dash to the wall. Okay. I'm going to take this thing out from afar. Dash over there. Dash right. Okay, good. Holy crap. Okay. We're done. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is not Eddie. He'll give you power-ups and shit. And if you die a lot, he'll give you even additional power-ups, which don't really do jack shit in the end. And yeah, this is Cryo, the first mind number we're going to be taking on, who has a really freaking annoying voice. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, yeah, I hate this thing. I hate this thing, but it's probably one of the more easier mind number boss fights, so that's why I recommend taking this thing out first. And I'll show you why. By the way, I also got to commend that, you know, I do find it pretty cool how they have the security cameras in the background, which show you at different angles. Pretty cool. Okay, kia ha 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 ha, yeah, ice pun. Okay, but yeah, by the way, I also forgot to mention, remember how I mentioned that every time you deal enough damage to an enemy, you have to assimilate them? If you don't assimilate them in time, they will regain all the health they lost. And that sucks. And by the way, that's it. Most likely, that's not an instant kill, but it does a lot of damage. So I recommend you, you know, be careful. Okay, let me get to a corner so I can just pick it off from afar. And yeah, you hear it say, pew, 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 pew. I hate that so much. It's so annoying. Okay. Oh crap, it got me, it got me, no! Just gotta be careful, okay. I gotta be really, really careful now, okay. I'm I'm taking a lot longer than how I should be taking on this fight. Dang it, dang it, I did How did I, where did I even touch that? What the? Crap, okay. Dang it, dang it, I'm way out of my touch on this game. Let me assimilate that, just so I don't, I don't, I really do not want to regain health. That's the one thing I hate every time, what's it called, in these boss fights, when they regain health. Ah, did this crap. Okay, that was my fault. Uh-oh. -uh. Okay, also, by the way, whenever bosses get, like, halfway, um, past their health, 
they will enter like a pinch mode type thing. It, it, I swear, for a second, I thought it actually got me. Uh-oh. Crap, okay, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, now it's going to start entering like a little pinch mode type thing. Yeah, it's going to start spraying you like that. So be very careful because, yeah, it will, what's it called? Um, that will freeze you, I think, instantly upon impact. Ah, dang it, dang it, dang it. That's the insta-kill ice. That, I'm, that was, I'm pretty 100% sure that was insta-kill. Okay, almost there. Almost done. But yeah, you see what I mean? Because it's not its not really a predictable pattern, but it's very easy to see and... You see? <sighs> game Design 101, insta-kill attacks do not make a game hard. That's the one thing I always say. Insta-kill attacks should not account for difficulty. That or spikes. Th that Those are two things. But yeah, you know, I'll see you guys when we get back to killing it because I, I goofed. Dead. Okay. Holy crap. All right. You know, I was I was sick of this thing. Shit. Yeah. Zero. Zero lives out of this thing. This thing took out like three of my lives, or like the four. I oh my god. I really hate these bosses. But yeah. It's an ice day to kill this thing. Eh? Eh, you know. Fuck these ice puns. I really hate them. I got a D. Whatever. Oh, but Bex got a new power up. Oh, gee whiz. It's Cryosphere. Yeah, these, these power-ups, they, they suck. Well, actually, no, this one isn't actually that bad. It could be useful for some boss fights, but, eh.